Hello everyone, this is Greg Mersko. Just letting you know that we'll be running a workshop on Adobe InDesign and just some basics. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just, I already worked on this uh, for the class itself. But what I'm going to do is just show you real quick when you want to add some artwork in the background of, in this case, a business card. So if I go to view, and I go to preview. This is what my card looks like so far. This is my second page. But I want something in here that's going to catch people's eyes when they look at my business card. So I'm going to go back to view, go to normal. Now all these little rules will not show up when you do your business card when you get it printed up. Even if you just print it out, you will not see the blue lines, this little bleed line you won't see, you won't see the pink line, none of these, those are just to tell you where certain areas of your canvas are. And for example, this little pink line kind of tells you where, okay, don't go beyond this point too, too much because the rollers of the printer have to push the paper through and this section might get cut off. But anyway, let's get back to where I want to create some art in the background. So what I'm doing is I'm just going right over here to my rectangle frame tool, which I call the picture box tool. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it right over the card itself. And now I am going to go. Now I say this in the class and I'll say it again. I think of Adobe InDesign as the Motel 6 of the Adobe programs because this is where other images that you create in Photoshop or in Illustrator, they like to stay. That's the way I look at it. It's a very welcoming type software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go Command D and I'm going to look for this M right here that I created in Photoshop. It's a BSD file. Open that up. And obviously it is a big giant M. And I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. Now, if you see, you got little blue rulers around here. For me to make that image larger, I have to go to my Select tool, double click. And now you'll see these little red little bars that you could take. It turns into like a red square. That means you have the image inside. So if you press down Shift and you grab the anchor, on the corners, any corner will do. You'll increase the size proportionally. A lot of mistakes that people do is they'll go through and oh, I'm going to enlarge this M here. And you see how it's stretched out? So you got to be real careful doing that, not doing that. I'm just going to Command Z to it's back where it was. Put my M in there again. And I'm just going to enlarge proportionally by holding Shift and pressing and dragging and I'm actually going to bleed the M off the sides just a little bit just to make a cool little design in the background. Okay obviously there's a giant M in front of my business card and nobody can read it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab again with my select tool and I'm going to go to object or arrange send it back. Okay that's better but you still can't read anything at the top. So I am literally going to go right up to here in my opacity. And I'm going to slide that way down. Right about there. I'm going to go view, screen mode, preview. Okay, that makes it a little bit better. So to me, that's a nice little added graphic just to give your business card a little more attention. Now, I haven't gone through colors yet because I just wanted to use it black and white at first, but uh, other workshops down the road, will I'll show you how to use color and design other things like magazines and brochures. So I hope you join me for the workshop. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, you'll have a little bit of fun, and I hope to see you there. Have a good day.